So in the movie The Matrix, Neo has the choice between two pills, the red pill and the blue pill. The red pill shows you life for what it actually is, you know, the unpleasant truth, but it allows you to adapt yourself to that unpleasant truth so you can live life to the fullest and on your own terms. Whereas the blue pill is where it'll have you believe whatever you want to believe and have you pretty much live a life full of blissful ignorance, blind to what really is going on around you. This video is going to red pill you and the red pill so to speak in this circumstance is learning exactly how to invest your money in your 20s now i want to make myself very clear in this video this is way deeper than stocks bonds cryptocurrency all of that what i'm talking to you about today is what should be your primary focus in your 20s period with that i have a question what are most people in their 20s doing now, now, you don't have to answer that right now. That's just a rhetorical question, but keep that in mind throughout the video. Just keep that in mind. Now, I'm going to give you guys a plan, basically a strategy on what exactly to do with both your time and your money when you're in your 20s. Because let's face it, we all have both of them and you've got to invest both of them if you want to have a successful future. And by investing one and not the other, that only ensures one thing and one thing only. You're wasting whatever it is that you're not investing. Here's the thing, guys. Society already has a plan for you, and they start to tell you exactly what that plan is at an early age to the point where it's all that you know. And unfortunately, most people have already given into this before they even hit 20. You know, work real hard for 40 years, retire and live happily ever after, buy some company stocks here and there and you'll be all right. Don't take any big risks stay in the same city, stay with the same company. But wait, before that, you've got to go to school. You've got to get good grades, and then you got to further your education even more. That's what society wants you to believe. But whenever someone goes against that, whether it's investing through stocks, bonds, real estate, whether it's starting your own business, whether it's just having a big financial goal for yourself, you get looked at like you're crazy. Keep in mind, these are things that I'm talking about that are done in addition to having a job, not just quitting a job completely and just doing these on their own. I'm talking about people who are working a full-time job, but they're also putting their effort in side hustles that become full-time investments, full-time hustles. And what happens? You get looked at like you're crazy. What happens? People tell you it's not going to work. What happens? People try to give you advice on what you should be doing. Remember my red pill, blue pill analogy? Yeah, well, in this case, society, what they want you to do, that's the blue pill. What you're learning in this video is the red pill. And this isn't just coming from me. This is coming from mentors that I've learned from. This is coming from experiences, both good and bad, that I've had in the real world, so to speak. But I'm going to tell you guys something right now. I know I told y'all to hold on to the question, what are most people in their 20s doing? I'm going to spoil it for y'all right now. This is not what most people in their 20s are doing. First of all, you've got to invest in what makes you profitable. That means you've got to invest in your skills, your confidence, your hygiene, basically your mental, your physical, and spiritual. You have to invest in all three of those types of things. How do you do that? I'm going to tell you how. Let's start with skills. Most people just go to school, graduate, and work. Period. That's all they do without furthering any of their skills. No side hustle, no nothing. Just work, work, work. And if you want to do that, that's cool. But I'm here to tell you there's more things to invest your time and your money into. How's about improving your interviewing skills so you can better approach the questions that they ask you and you can leave something in their mind that makes you an unforgettable candidate for a job? How's about learning what questions to ask interviewers? It takes a very small amount of your time and almost always costs zero dollars. You can look up these things on YouTube. You can find articles about these things and find really effective things you can use in an interview. Guess what? That makes you more profitable. How's about learning skills outside of the scope of your job? How's about learning a new language? How's about learning how to program and code? How's about improving your public speaking skills, which in turn makes you more charismatic, more confident, and more inspirational, and ultimately more profitable? And look guys, the list of things there are to be known isn't endless lists. If you want to learn how to start and run your own business, guess what? You can learn how to do it and you can apply what you've learned literally right now. 
want to learn how to invest in stocks or how to become a real estate agent, you can look that stuff up. You can spend money on a course. You can take a class on how to do this stuff and be very good at it in a very short amount of time. If you feel like you suck at Excel and you really want to improve at that, guess what? You can take courses on that and become literally an expert on Excel just by taking those courses. If you want to learn how to manage your money better, there is endless, endless amounts of information all over the internet, all over books, all over everything. It seems like it's all over the world by now, but guess what? How many people do that? Not many. Want to learn graphic design, Photoshop, video editing? Guys, you can learn all this stuff on your own time and with your own money. I've got a question for you. How many people in their 20s are doing that? You want my recommendation on how to invest your money in your 20s? I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Look at your job or whatever your primary source of income is as a way of sustaining your lifestyle, but also a way to fill your goals and dreams that you have for yourself. Now, what does that look like? For one, it looks like being appreciative of the job that you have, but two, for some people that spending money on online courses, like I have, I've spent thousands of dollars on online courses. That for some people that's joining a Toastmasters, for some people that's taking on an extra project at work, that's talking to successful people and picking their brain as much as you possibly can. That's reading several books on the same exact topic with several different perspectives so you can pick which ones you agree with and that you would actually want to apply to your life. That's going to networking events. That's going to seminars. No matter which way you look at it, this is you investing your time and your money so you can make yourself better. But again, what are most people in their 20s doing? Let's talk confidence. So I've already mentioned public speaking, going to seminars, and joining a Toastmasters. That stuff alone, yes, it does increase your confidence. But I'm not talking about just your mental confidence because in the first part, what I just talked about is your mental confidence. Now we're talking about your physical confidence. That means making sure you're investing in yourself, investing your time in learning what foods you should be putting in your body, learning about healthy alternatives, investing your money in good, healthy food. You don't got to go crazy. You don't got to be splurging or nothing. I'm just saying spending that money that goes towards healthy food sure healthy food can be a little more pricey than this junk food that you see literally everywhere but it's worth the money this is your health that we're talking about Th this isn't me telling you to splurge or to even buy organic food i'm just telling you to get the basic healthy foods eat your fruits eat your vegetables drink your water make sure you eat lean meats you know what i'm saying stuff like that stuff that anybody can do it also means investing in a gym membership and actually going to the gym on a consistent basis. When you combine a good diet with good exercise, guess what? You get a healthier, better looking you every single time. It does not fail. And that makes you more confident because you feel better, you look better, and you have more energy. And that energy radiates and people can feel that. And all this is, guys, is just literally spending the time and the money to better yourself. Something else that makes you more confident? Investing in a nice suit, some nice shoes, some good colognes or perfumes. And to me, these things are essential. And I'm again, I'm not telling you guys to go splurge and spend crazy amounts of money on these things. You can spend a very low amount of money and still get these things that are pretty nice that fit you well. The whole idea isn't to look like you're rich. The idea is to look nice, to look presentable. Not even talking about getting designer shoes and designer clothes. We ain't, we ain't even talking about all that. We're talking about wearing some good quality clothes that just look nice. You know what I'm saying? Stuff that you can dress, dress up, dress down, whatever. It doesn't matter. But the important thing is to look at these things as investments. And again, these things make you feel more confident because you know you look good. You know you smell good. And if you look good and smell good at all times, guess what? That leads to more opportunities in the future. It just does. More people want to be around you. More people will approach you. Talk to you for apparently no reason. And part of that is because of the confidence that you radiate. I'm telling you, when you feel better about yourself on the inside, and you look good on the outside, I'm telling you, your confidence will radiate and people will feel that energy and that will make you more charismatic. It will make more people drawn to you and they will literally just gravitate towards you. People want to be around that type of positive, confident energy. And this actually perfectly coincides with stuff like hygiene, you know, just having clear skin, having white teeth. These are just basic things that I really shouldn't have to say, but I'm just putting it in this video because again, 
this leads to good confidence. You know, it's it's having a decent haircut. It's looking presentable. That might, that might be investing in some whitening toothpaste or investing in some like skin moisturizer, cleanser, all that good stuff. I mean, this stuff might sound basic and like it's very uh, common sense, but again, a lot of people don't take the time to really focus and pinpoint these things that make their hygiene what it should be. They just don't. And really, the bottom line is having the mindset of taking care of yourself because literally no one else is going to do it for you. You're on your own, especially when you're in your 20s. You got to take care of yourself. You have to take care of you have all these ambitious goals, right? You have to take care of yourself, too. I don't care what anybody told you. Looks matter. Society might have you believe something different, but I'm telling you looks matter. And people judge off of them every single day. Just my advice. And speaking of taking care of yourself, you also want to invest in some life insurance that is super, super important. The younger you do it, the cheaper it is. And then, of course, the younger you invest in, in life insurance, the more your money will grow. And the best thing about life insurance, it's not taxable by the government. Like if an emergency happened and you had to withdraw a crazy amount of money within there, you wouldn't get taxed on it. It's definitely something to look into. And I know that being in your 20s might feel like, man, I don't have time to do all this, have time to look into that, do this, and have this skill and that skill. Look, I promise you, you have more time than you think. I promise you, you do. So in addition to that, we're really getting to the meat and potatoes of this video. We're looking at three ideas that you have got to invest in if you want to really reach your goals. All that stuff is good for like personal development and having a really solid mindset in terms of what to do with your money. This is where you put all of that into action. And look, I wanna tell you right now, these three basic ideas are very simple. The only thing with them is they take time to accumulate the amount of money that you want to, which means you have to invest for a prolonged amount of time before you see any kind of results. And people who were brainwashed by certain norms that society has given them, they might try to talk you out of it. They might even be convincing and seem logical in what they're saying to you. But here's the thing I'm gonna leave you with before I actually give you these three basic ideas. I saw this awesome quote on Instagram the other day. It says, if you have a million dollar dream, don't let somebody who's making $40,000 a year talk you out of it. What does that sound like? It sounds like what a lot of people do. And it's because that person who's making that $40,000 a year that's talking you out of your million dollar dream, they might not be as successful, but the thing is you might look up to them and you might value their advice. Unfortunately, that advice is not going to get you where you want to be. At the best, it'll get you to where they're at. Just being honest. Anyways, here's the three ideas. You want to have a long-term investing plan. For most people, it stops at just having a 401k or a Roth IRA. For you guys, that's not going to be the case. In addition to your 401k or Roth IRA, what I would recommend is having an index fund which you would invest in that just as much as you would to your 401k. And this is really a bulletproof way of making sure that your money grows no matter what. It's, it's proven. It's been proven throughout history that index funds perform very, very well. And they generally have an 8% growth rate per year. That's going to give you not a ton of money, but guess what? Over time, over the time that you get more money and raises and you increase your income, you'll be able to put more in there and that money is going to grow a lot faster. But the thing is you have to invest in this thing consistently. It's gonna take a solid 20 to even 40 years before you see crazy results with it and see some significant growth, but it's gonna be worth every penny because you know right now in your 20s, if you start now in a low cost uh, index fund or mutual fund, you're gonna have an outcome of several hundred thousand dollars, maybe even millions of dollars, depending on how much you put in there and how consistently you put it in there. If you want to learn more about mutual funds and index funds, all that good stuff, just check out my video. I have a whole video dedicated to it. I'm not going to bore you with those details right now. So then you have a second plan. You have something that's a little more aggressive, whether it's investing in individual stocks that you research that you know are doing well. Like if you buy Apple stocks, Tesla stocks, Costco stocks, Coca-Cola, Hormel Foods, stuff that you know you can get passive income off of and dividends, 
that type of stuff too. That's, that's also a really good way to invest your money. As, and, and you can continue to learn and, and, and feed your mind information about investing in stocks. Even if you don't wanna go that route, it's, it could be investing in real estate. It could be learning about real estate. That's a little more aggressive. That's a little more high risk than say uh, an index fund. But you learn so much along the way. And of course, it's it's definitely not guaranteed. Nothing in this life is guaranteed, but it's that's why it's number two. And look, again, this is this is just advice. But I'm telling you, there's nothing wrong with doing this. I mean, something that I do on the side, in addition to my 401k, in addition to my index funds, I invest in individual stocks. Based off of what I know about the company, based off of what I understand, I put my money into said companies and they perform well. And another thing that can, can really make you more successful with this is reading up on investing, reading articles, talking to people that know what they're talking about when it comes to investing. And really, just it's going to boil down to reading books on books on books and understanding what the numbers mean, understanding when you should buy, when you should hold, when you should sell, all that good stuff. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Oh, and by the way, this one right here, this is a 10 to 20 year plan of building wealth on top of your 20 to 40 year plan of building wealth that we just talked about a, a few seconds ago. But then you have number three. Number three is the one that people really look at you like you're crazy with. They look at you like, no freaking way. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, you're trying this. Yeah, 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 that's adorable. Go go ahead. Go ahead and try it and tell me how it works out for you. Now, this right here is a two to seven year plan. This is what I call a freedom plan. This is understanding and learning and applying what you've learned so that you can do whatever you want. It is increasing your income so much to the point that you don't even have to rely on any one source of income ever again. And this can be done through the, through the form of passive income or active income. But either way you look at it, you're building somewhat of an empire that makes it to where you can double, triple, quadruple your income. And this basically uses either starting your own business or some form of investing, whether it's real estate or if it's heavily investing in stocks. More times than not, and the most profitable way I've seen this done, which is creating a business, and once that business becomes profitable, it becomes an asset. Once it becomes an asset, you make a ridiculous amount of money off of that business. You live below your means, you reinvest that money back into the business until the business just goes completely nuts, and you're making way more money than you even know what to do with. With that extra money, then you invest in the stocks, then you invest in the real estate, and then boom, now you have three different assets that are making ridiculous amounts of money. Now, it sounds a lot more easier said than done because it frankly is, but that first step is creating that business. And this is why I say people are going to look at you like you're crazy because it's so far-fetched to the average mind. It's so far-fetched for a lot of people to even fathom you making $10,000 a month outside of work it's hard for people to fathom you making literally their salary within a couple of months it's hard for them to fathom that and it's because people haven't been given that different way of thinking a lot of people say well i don't even know what i would do as a business well it's not for everybody a lot of people don't know what they would do for a business a lot of people don't know what they can do to add value to the marketplace but i'm telling you right now every single person in this world has a purpose every single person in this world has value to add to anybody and anybody that puts their mind to it can absolutely be successful in their own business in real estate investing in just regular stock bond investing anybody can can do that stuff if they put their minds to it but guess what a lot of people get in their own heads and say, nah, I'm not going to do that. And, you know, that's fine. But this is my advice. This is my advice of how to invest your money in your 20s. Investing your time in the stuff that we talked about in the first part of the video and then applying all of that to these three basic financial plans for your lives. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. And starting your own business nowadays isn't just having your, you know, it's, it's not what has always been throughout history where you start like a big industry, like a big power plant or a big 
uh, manufacturing plant or something like that. No, 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 no. It's not like having a traditional family restaurant where your whole family's in there working with you and, and you're crunching numbers and you're living in there. No, 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 no. You can start businesses throughout the internet. You can start businesses. You can have an online course and that could be your business. You could have a YouTube channel and that could be your business. You can scale this stuff. It's extremely lucrative and it doesn't matter where you're located. You can do the type of stuff despite where you're at. Despite if there's a pandemic going on, your business can still thrive because it could be online. I'm not telling you that's the only way to do it. I just think that's the most effective way to do things right now. We're, we're leading, we're, we're going further and further into the future where the internet is going to be more heavily relied upon than ever. That's just how it's going to be. So we've got to think... We've got to think smart about these things. We have got to be we've got to be innovative about what we think about doing. We have to be smart about where we put our money and where we put our time. If you're not, you'll be left behind. I just rhymed. Anyways, that's the video for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant. This channel is all about personal growth and personal finance. So you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Um, this is something that I'm highly passionate about, man. It's something that Everyone needs to do. Everyone needs to be investing their money. Everyone needs to be investing their time, especially in the early ages of being in your 20s. Maybe this is early in your life where you haven't even had kids yet. Maybe this is where you you have kids, but you want more for them. You want more for your family. Whatever walk of life you're having right now, this video, ap applying and following the advice that's in this video is going to help improve your life. And even if you don't agree with everything that was said in this video, that's cool. I mean, apply the stuff that you do agree with and see if it doesn't change anything. I guarantee you it will. Anyway, that's the video for today. I'll see you in the next one. Stay cold.